What's up everybody, Noisy here with another VOD review. This time we're taking a look at Asuna from 100 Thieves. He's one of the most mechanical players in NA right now, and I want to break down how he makes a big difference in his ranked games. For those of you who don't know, I'm a Radiant content creator. I also give Valorant coaching lessons and have coached over 50 players. Let me know who you'd want me to review next, and let's get right into the video. Actually, really standard team comp on Haven, by the way. Omen, Sova, Jet. Cypher, Reyna, like, you, this is very normal in ranked. Killjoy for Asuna is actually pretty nice, because he can dash in. He doesn't have to worry about the tripwires too much. As a jet, I always prefer playing against the Killjoy. Asuna went with a ghost, but he didn't buy a smoke. I don't know why he didn't buy a smoke. That's what I would buy. Like, I think it's worth to full buy utility on pistol run. Maybe he forgot. Spots the Reyna. The one thing that Asuna is probably thinking about while chasing the Reyna is this. It's really important. He swung right. Nice try on the Reyna. And then notice that Asuna, he buys rifle low armor on second round. And on Jet, it's not actually too bad. Because if the enemy team don't force, then you can farm the kills, right? Like this fight is actually pretty scary. He just jumps out and he's ready to take the fight. But as Jet, you can play kind of stupid because of the dash. And the cool thing is, if you actually farm on second round with rifle, you can get your ult. So you can give your rifle to someone else on the bonus round. And then try to get your ult. Oof. That's a really scary peek. Mm, I mean, I mean, I mean, you can't get healed. Yeah, I guess. I mean, Shadows traveling. Yeah. I got the spike. But that's also the trade-off of playing rifle, right? Like you normally play low armor, so if the enemy team force, they can go, they can go spec their low armor and kind of do a challenge you mid to close range. And if you die, you give them the gun, and that's also really scary on second round. Do you want to go B or A? I think we play bomb. I like this position from Asuna, like they're just, he's, he's telling his teammates to play bomb. Sova's so playing Sight and he's watching Heaven, I think, and then Omen is playing Short and he's watching CT. So those two are playing off each other, and I think Asuna is just gonna chill here. He peeks off the Sova there. Enemy One enemy remaining. It's also worth to keep in mind how many things in this game are wall bangable. Like, you watch this, like he spots the Omen, he swings off the Sova, he spots the Omen there. He hits the omen a couple of times, and then he spams where the omen was through the box. Look. You see? Like, a lot of things in Valorant are wallbangable, and people in the lower ranks, or even in the higher ranks, don't even think about it. Especially if you're playing a gun like the Phantom, right? Because you don't see the bullets. If you play a Vandal, and you wallbang, you actually see the bullets flying. So the omen would know exactly where he's getting shot from. Playing with the drone, I like that. Now we know Killjoy C as well. So Reyna was garage. Look at the minimap. We literally have all info. Killjoy turret was C, so Killjoy C. We have three question marks towards B, and we have one question mark towards A. So we have all info on literally every single player right now. They go back now. Because again, we know from the minimap that there was four players in this circle right here that I drew. And there's only one player in this second circle right here. A quick rotation can be the best call, and that's what they're doing. They also did lose a player in garage, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Yeah, there's way too many players there. I think Asuna wants to try to get out. Somewhere else. If you have like three or four teammates going towards A and you are in mid as Jet, I don't think it's worth joining them. I think it's worth to try to cut the rotation because he can get catch any kill that rotates like this. They run with their knife out. They don't really think about it. They just run past you and you get a free kill. Try to go A, I'll like lurk. We'll see how this goes. Oh, the alarm bot though. That's so unfortunate that there's an alarm bot there. That's why they probably didn't rotate through B. They rotated it through CT. They know about us. It's a hard one. I think they're all on site, to be honest. Oh, nice try. He's right side. So the Sova should be low HP. It should be a pretty easy kill. There it is. Still headshots him, though. So now we have info on two players, actually. Look, the killer was C, or Sova spotted. And the raise was on A. That's the raise. We knew Kildra was C. That's Rain now. So now we now we have info on everyone pretty much. One enemy remaining. He jumps peek this. It's really hard for somebody with a rifle to kill you during a jump peek. So the way that you do it, you strafe, you jump, and then you hold crouch in the air. So you land the crouch. Or you can do it standing as well. You strafe here. You strafe here. And then you jump. And in the air, you crouch. And then right before you land, you uncrouch. So in the air, you're like a small ball just flying to the side. 
but then you land sooner because you release crouch in the air that's what i do anyways like jump peeking like that is insane but you can't always do it if they expect it it's pretty easy to die but i don't think the omen expected it there it, it's very situational but it's worth to try nice he reacted to the raise ult there. His Reyna dies to the enemy Reyna and he hears it on plateau. That's why he, he dashes away to dodge the raise ult here. And then he turns to fight the Reyna. There. And one thing that's really, really nice about the operator is that your HP doesn't really matter. It's a one-shot kill to the body, so you can take peaks even on lower HP. Fun! Like one thing that you need to think about always whenever you're peeking mid is if there is an operator or not. On the enemy team. You can get spammed like that too. You can bring up your minimap and you can ping right here before the round starts. And then you know exactly where to spam. You should run. Alright, well, let's get the fuck out. So Asuna's team is dying here, right? They find two kills. But the enemy Killjoy did a massive mistake here, in my opinion. I, I don't like it when Killjoy players ult before it's 100% sure where people are going. All this ult does, it slows us down for a couple of seconds. There's no value in that. It, it might cause a rotation, we might run back to mid or to C, but we can always come back to A and there's nothing to stop us. Wait for the spike to go down, like wait for the plant sound or wait for the spike to actually be fully planted before you Killjoy ult. Spike down mid. Damn, there's still, there's still potential to win the round. They just have to get the spike in mid. I have the spike. On red side. We know Reyna's there. One thing that they need to care about is that there could be one player on C. But if C is empty, our jet, Asuna, is in a really, really good position here. He's just cutting the rotation completely. Last player standing. Spike and there was one on C. That was the omen. So we knew about the raise and Reyna. Oh, you really need to pay attention to sounds in Valorant. Look, he kills the Reyna. And during this, he hears the Omen TP, and there is actually a sound with the Omen TP that tells you where he TPs to. There's two sounds with Omen. One, when he does the TP, that one's really loud. That one you can always hear. But if you're close to Omen, you also hear where he ends up. Oh, one enemy remaining. And then it's a 1v1, and Raze was A, so he can grab the spike, and he can probably smoke and just plant. 30 seconds left. That's a... I think he could have stuck it there, but I wonder what plan Asuna has. This is really interesting. Okay, so if the Raze has the biggest brain in the world, then Raze is playing on A right now and just waiting for Asuna. If Raze is playing like every other player should play, then the Raze is rotating through B or rotating through uh, through CT from A. Because Raze was A earlier. It'd be very weird if the Raze was on A. And then go short or long. He's playing short. Nice. I think he's trying to break the alarm bot there because the killer has been having it there most rounds. So Omen died, and we have a lot of info now on the minimap. Omen died on C, killer is playing CT, Raze is playing B. So we know where three players are right now. Actually, that's it. A is empty. It's actually crazy that they still go. Like, I would just go there. One enemy remaining. So now we know the enemy team is on a low buy. I like that play a lot from Asuna. So he spots one right here. And then he also hears the kill draw turret on the left. So we're gonna assume that it's still on B. He dashes through. Smokes A-Link in case of anyone from A rotating. And then he peeks off the arrow from Sova. So you see, he waits for one ping. He just jiggles it. And then he readjusts his crosshair here. So he jiggles. Notices that the raise is tagged by the arrow. And then re-peeks for the kill. Unluckily, he gets shock darted because when you get hit by Killjoy alarm bot, you take double damage. Ooh, that's a hard shot to hit because the Omen Flash was coming in at the same time. Kind of blocked the view a little bit. Ooh, Killjoy C, we hear it on the turn. Killjoy C or Garage? I don't know. Entering with the Operator, I like it. Spots the Killjoy Garage, nice kill. I think C is empty now because the Omen most likely TP it away. And that's one thing that's really important whenever you play the operator. Like, just call to your teammates what you're holding. Like, they don't need to be communicating with you. If Asuna is holding spawn, he's calling it. He's saying, I'm holding spawn. So all they really need to worry about is garage and see long. They literally don't have to care for this area at all. Nice. 
and here's something to pay attention to as well. Whenever it's the last round of the half, just look at the enemy team and see what they can potentially buy, right? So Reyes can buy armor, full armor and a rifle. Sova can buy low armor and a rifle. The rest of them, if they want a rifle, they have to buy without any armor. You can really think about those things and just kind of expect people to play with weird weapons. Because they have to force no matter what now, because it's the last round of the half. Also, they have a Razult and they have a Sovol, so they're going to look for them early. On the last round of the half, you can expect them to use what they have, right? I like that reaction a lot from us, so now we're gonna rewind that. So what a lot of Jet players would do here, is that they would dash in. They would smoke either here or here. They would dash in, they would check the right side, and then they would control this area right here. One of his teammates die on short. Instead of dashing in and taking control, he's trying to trade that kill and just deal with short instantly, right? And during this, the Raze runs out CT. So he knows that right now he can't kill the Reyna. The Reyna is blinded and she's in her dismiss, right? So you can't kill her. So the main priority is killing the Raze running out right now. He gets that kill. Then the Reyna is out of the dismiss. She can't shoot you back because there's a slight delay when you exit your dismiss. We hear Sova ulting from CT. So we know that Sova is somewhere in this circle right here, because that's where the ult is coming from. So he just decides to push CT for that Sova kill. Smokes, sees the omen, and then kind of tries to predict where the omen is, right? Gets the kill on omen, and then he knows where the Sova is. So he goes for the dash updraft play, but then unfortunately he dies. And since it's the last round, I think, yeah, our Sova just ults, and that's a GG. Nice, good half. So one thing you always want to pay attention to is this right here. He doesn't buy anything this round. He's going for the 4.6k. And if Asuna finds one kill here, every kill in this game gives you 200 credits, right? So if he finds one kill this round, that means that he can afford an operator. And if he doesn't get the kill, then he can buy a rifle full armor. So no matter what, the next round is going to be good for him. So he's just going with the classic and then trying to get a kill here for extra money. Oh. Nice try. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Talking with knife out when you're retaking a site. I don't know. It's okay. scary. Nice kill on the Reyna. I like that reaction as well. Because he kills the Reyna in mid. And then he instantly goes C. Because there's no way that the enemy team will push mid after he gets that kill. Like, they're going to be scared. So he just leaves mid and lets Sova play garage. And then he's gonna double it up with Sova or go back to mid. But I like that reaction. Gets the kill in me. Oh, bruh. Okay. I would not expect that at all. And also, I did not expect Wait, it either. Yes, the Vandal. That's good. He has a really good flank here. Because I, I think they're all C. I don't think they expect Asuna here on timing. Right now, I think he can find one kill and dash away, maybe. Tags up there. Raises half HP off that. Back flat. Back flat. Uh oh. The Reyna gets to heal. And dismiss to change position. Nice. That's a huge, that's a big round actually. That's really nice that he got the Vandal in mid as well. Ooh, that peak. That's a, such a hard shot to hit when they jump peak you like that. And now the Raze knows or they know that Austin is playing Operator mid. So they're gonna be a bit scared. But I think that's also why he's pushing down right now. Like this is really good. They heard the Operator shot and they're not gonna re-peak that. So he actually gets into window on timing. And he gets a collateral, dude. How scripted is that? What they could have done is Omen and Sova could have played together, right? Is this the angle? But instead, Omen goes with like 5 HP and tries to kill the Killjoy in spawn. Killjoy could be anywhere right now. Bomb grenade goes off. She, she has to be long or short. Oh. What? We did not hear a footstep in the video, but apparently the Sova said that he heard a footstep. Oh my god. Uh, that's one way to win a clock. That's, that's one way to win a game. Nice. Oh, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> that was a good VOD. Defenders yeah. That was a yeah. nice VOD. There. Fuck it. 27 kills. Five first bloods.